thanks for joining me. The tea. Let's go. This is collective read. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Some of you are on guard after some type of heartbreak. It could be multiple um, things from the past that had really hurt you, really brought some you in your head a lot. I feel like you were, you had a lot of dark days and a lot of it has to do with heartbreak and some kind of truth. And now you're just like, I don't know who I can trust. You have your heart um, shielded. Like you're not sure who you want to let your, your guards down. And this really burdens you like this heartbreak or whatever happened in the past. Something deep, something um, that made you really sad, a lot of sorrow. But I feel like you're trying to get some things together and move forward in your life. You've been really trying to work on your coin, <clears throat> your home, grounding yourself, taking that leap of faith to move forward. I feel like it's taken you a while to get to this point, to finally start working on yourself, to finally start putting up boundaries and not just letting anybody in. I feel like you've been through a lot of um, heartbreak, a lot of uh, dead ends that didn't go anywhere. And now you're just being very particular about who you give your heart away to. You're no longer, um, I feel like you've wisened up to some things in the past had made you wiser. You're no longer just up in your head. Like you're, you don't just let your heart follow. You don't just follow your heart. Like now you're just, you're also listening to your head because sometimes your heart runs away and it kind of gets the best of you, I feel like. And you're seeing this, you're realizing not everybody is in it to win it not everybody is it in it to put a ring on it and some people are just there for what they can give you and not what they can what you can give them and not what they can give you it's not an even playing field and you, i feel like you're this was causing you a lot of pain because you never said your truth to people you just kind of i'm fine but really, honestly, they were walking all over you and you had some deep emotions for a lot of these people or maybe some of them, maybe not all of them. Um, you just, you pretended that you were fine even though these people were trampling over you and using you because you thought that maybe if you gave them everything that they would see your worth and now you're no longer doing that. Like you're, now you're in your... You're in your power and you're standing your ground. You're no longer just taking empty cups. Yep, you're in your power. And you're holding on to your coin and you're no longer just going to give what you work so hard for to just anybody. Somebody needs to come in. And this is the pair too. Someone needs to come in and meet you in the middle I want just as much work on your end as I am. Like, I don't want just somebody to come in and take all this hard work that I built so hard to build this wall. I'm not gonna just let anybody in on that. Like, I need someone that's gonna match me, come forward and match everything. You know, it, it not just so much, I give and give and give, and all you do is take. I want someone that's going to give to me as well. I want someone to grow with me. I want roots. I don't want to just be here 
for a good time and not a long time. You're realizing you have more options than you thought. Uh, you have a lot of things coming to you. You, you have these visions and you want to go for them. Sorry. And now anybody who comes in and makes an offer, you are truly going to examine this cup that you are being offered. Like, yes, this is a great cup, but what is so great about this cup that you're offering me now? You've been manifesting this. You've been trying to manifest money. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on your home. You've been working on you. And you're no longer accepting just any old cup because you've already gotten a bunch of cups in the past, but they were empty. So whoever comes in now and gives you this cup, look at her. She's just like looking at this cup. What is this cup? What's in this cup? Is it worth anything to me? Does it have any value? Is there any growth that's gonna happen? Like, I don't wanna just be here for a little bit of time. I don't want mobile love. I don't want instant love that's gonna quickly fizzle out. So someone may come in and offer you a cup and you're you're just not going to be too quick to jump on this because you're just over the shit that you are definitely going to be looking over this cup before you make a quick decision because of what happened in their past or in your past you really are going to want to really examine things and be truthful about what what and how you feel and what you are looking for that you're looking for more that you want something stable you want something tangible you don't want just fun and games you don't want just the d or the whatever you don't want to juggle with your emotions anymore you don't want to you want something that's that's stable that's not going to be up in the air all the time you're making your judgments now and whoever comes forward you're like okay present it to me is it going to be good enough because i'm over here working on my coin what have you been doing i don't want just someone who's going to take a handout while i'm the one constantly giving 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 I also feel like after a lot of you really truly start to work on yourself, excuse me, that's when your emperor is going to come in. That's when he's going to come in and see how hard you worked, how you stayed and worked on you and not got out there with all the drama that's been going on. There might have been some drama around this connection as well. It could be a connection in the past that might come forward um, because they've been watching you work on yourself and build your empire and grown from the ground up is what I'm hearing. And now a lot of you are going to be having somebody might want to come in and give you a gift. They might have come out of a relationship in order to give you this. Because I'm seeing somebody taking something away from someone else and giving it to you. So this could be a past person that decided to end it with someone else. Or this could be a new person that you started talking to that was possibly in another connection or was not fully out of this connection. Because I feel like it's, it's something that they were not truly in or they are slowly coming out of because there's less coins and there's more coins on your side. So I feel like they were maybe trying to get over this past and that's when they finally when they f fully have removed themselves emotionally and all of that physically mentally that's when they can come in and give you this 
Ace of Wands, this new beginning, this tangible offer that they're going to be offering you, but you just might be on your guard because of all the shit that happened in the past. Maybe you had some arguments with this person. Maybe um, this uh, relationship was not what you were hoping for or it didn't go anywhere in the past, but now they want to come in and make a tangible offer because they realized that they were too busy looking at the back of the they were looking at empty cups that were already spilled over that was already done and gone they might have had to do some traveling this person because that bridge right there is really sticking out to me they have a lot of emotions for you as well and they're realizing that they were sleeping on this connection because there's two still very full cups right there and two of cups is also a twin flame a deep connection so he, they may finally realize and come to their senses and realize that they have a deeper connection with you something that they could possibly grow with but they were too stuck in their head in order to see this but now i feel like out of nowhere they had their aha moment and they're ready to take this leap of faith with you that now that they sat there and watched you grow they're over here watering their plant look at their little plant and then you're over here like holy shit she's just like fucking booming over here working her ass off and getting them pentacles and now they want to come back in and take this leap of faith with you because you're in your empress and that is another pair as well you're you're in your power you see yourself for who you truly really are and now you're not taking any shit from nobody and you're building your coin you're busting your ass and that's what makes you truly attractive and with that peace out.